Hello everybody, this is Gail from FantasticFreezer.com where everything, you can find everything in a flash. And then of course you can use this in your refrigerator, it's the coolest thing in town. And what we're doing is a real quick demo video here, it's part of a series that we're doing to show you how you assemble the stabilizer and the header that is part of the structure of the top of the Fantastic Organizer. So what we have here is a is a crossbar used as a stabilizer. A crossbar looks like this and it's a universal design. It can be used in any of three uh, positions. If it's got the flat flange at the top, that's one way. N notice that there's square holes. Square holes and then slots. Same thing on the bottom. Square holes and slots. In the middle there's another type of design and that's going to be used to connect with the post segments. There's one size and then there's another size. It's a smaller version. If you needed to use it on the floor as a footer, of course the wide section would be on the floor. And this would be if you had protrusions at the back of your freezer wall and you, you didn't have room to put the whole length for your footer, you could use this. Most people don't need to do that. So what we're showing you here is that we have a flathead bolt, well, it's actually a carriage bolt, and you see that square part that's underneath the flat head, and it's fully threaded. So that square part, you want to position squarely into the square hole, and then thread that down through the other square hole, and then you're going to take one of these washers and you just twirl it all the way up here and it attaches right there and then you've got a nut that you thread up there you do the same thing on the other side all right so that's your first step then after that what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to the other one that's very similar it's got the same flat section facing up it's facing up so we did that here now what you're going to do is you're going to put another nut and then you're going to have these two bolts. Now what these do is they get connected through these slots into the top of the post segments. Okay, that's very simple. They just go into the slots through that midsection and then connect with the post segment. segment. We'll show you how that all that works in the other room. But here is the stabilizer and the header. And just a quick note about these post segments, they all fit together like this. You just stack them one on top of the other, as many as you need. And they all have what's called gripping grooves. These gripping grooves are used to position the rails. Okay, so the, the post segments form a post. You can have two, four, six, eight, ten, however many you want on every post. And then the rails, there's actually two sizes of rails. There's a short version and a long version. Again, if you needed to make an allowance for things at the back of your uh, protrusions and on the bottom of your freezer, for example, you could use the short rails. But the rails just fit into those gripping grooves. So they click in. Look at that. They're just clicked in. I can move them around. And once you have them on, you can slide them back and forth if you need to, but they are very sturdy. And once you, that you put the shelves on here and loaded up the shelves, they're very, very stable. But that's how it all, it's very modular. So I want you to meet us in the other video where we're gonna show how we attach all this to your inside of your freezer or your refrigerator. See you at www.fantasticfreezer.com.